Hey guys! Am I blurry? Am I blurry? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking all about my septum ring because this is my most recent piercing. It's seven months old now, so I figured I could talk about it now. So I'm going to be talking about the process of getting pierced, where I got it pierced from, the healing process, and how it's doing now. So, first off, let's talk about where I got it pierced at. I got it pierced at Shaman Modifications in Austin, Texas. I have their card here. Uh, hopefully you can see. I highly, highly recommend. Friendly, they were very clean, um, very professional, everything. And they have really cool jewelry there. And all their jewelry, I think, is either gold or titanium. So, very, very high quality stuff. Cost-wise, it was quite expensive. For me and my mom, she got a piercing also, not a septum, she got her nose pierced. For both of us, it was over $300 with the tip. But, I mean, they include follow-up visits and, I mean, you get what you pay for. They, I highly, highly recommend, 10 out of 10, zero complaints here, even with the price, like, definitely worth it. Now let's talk about the piercing process. They had me lie down and pierce it, which was interesting. I actually wasn't painful, like at all. I was kind of scared it was going to be painful because I've actually had septoplasty before and ugh. And I know it's not a surgery, it's just a piercing, but I just have memories of how sore and painful my septum can be. So I was a little nervous. It really wasn't painful at all. They actually pierced it with a 12 gauge retainer, which I've heard mixed things, people saying, um, whether it's better to get pierced with a retainer or like a horseshoe or something. I don't know. I'm not a piercer. I just go with what they say. But I will say when I switched, I had a bit more trouble healing it with the horseshoe or no, I'm sorry, the retainer than with the horseshoe in now. But the retainer was 12 gauge and this horseshoe is 14 gauge. So I don't really know if it's the ring or if it's just the size of the ring or what it is. But I did have a little bit of trouble where my nose ring is. On this side of the septum, it was a little bit red and inflamed for a while. So the method that we use to heal it, um, it's actually what they told me to do. It's the leave it the hell alone rule, where it's like you don't touch it, you just act like it's not there. You don't touch it, you don't wash it, you don't do anything to it, unless unless you need to. So unless they're, um, unless you accidentally touch it, but like crusties and everything, you just just let it all happen on its own and that's actually this is the first piercing I've ever used that method on and I feel like it worked pretty well because I think a septum can be hard to heal as it is but it's definitely healed better than my industrial piercing and this I was cleaning all the time also I had a belly button ring that I cleaned all the time and it rejected so I don't know could be could be something I was really surprised when they um, told me that was the healing method because I've never heard of that before but it worked out pretty well the only thing I can say is they did give me um, salt spray and I'll put a picture of it here if I can um, and I did use that a few times mainly if I messed with my nose ring here and it touched my septum piercing I would do that or if it just felt like it just felt like it needed so I know you're not supposed to, but I just sometimes I just felt like I needed to spray. That's all I did for it to heal it. And now we are seven months out and it's still a little sore. Like if I do that, it's still a little bit sore, but nothing near how it was. It was it was really sore for the longest time and anytime I bump my nose, oh my god. <laughs> If you have a piercing and you bump it, you know, you know the struggles. But other than that, it seems really good. It seemed to do a lot better when they switched the retainer out to the horseshoe. And again, I think it's just because the smaller size, it fits better in my nose. If you're thinking about getting your septum piercing, the experience is it doesn't hurt getting the actual piercing done. The healing is, eh, it's a little bit harder to heal, I would say, than a normal piercing. I do think, I feel like it would have been better if I would have had the horseshoe in the whole time, healing-wise, but I don't know. I could be completely wrong. Like, it might have done better with the retainer in. I don't know. So yeah, that's pretty much my experience with the septum piercing, but if you're thinking of getting it done, I highly recommend. I love it. Oh, and if you have a nose piercing and you're thinking about getting a septum, you may have a little bit of trouble, I did, but not too bad. Nothing you can't. Nothing you can't. 
get past. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. And like I said, please feel free to leave comments down below if I missed anything or if you have any questions that I might not have talked about. I would be more than happy to answer them for you. And if you're new here, I would really appreciate a sub. I'm trying to grow my channel in 2022. I post more about alt fashion, lifestyle type videos. So yeah, there's a lot to come, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!